Hello, my name is Eric Morgan, and this is Jay Schmidt. And today, we're going to be talking about collecting respiration data. Respiration can also be derived from the cardiac impedance signal, but this video will focus on using the respiration belt. The respiration belt, or rest belt, is the only piece of equipment needed to collect respiration. Mindware sells two types of rest belts, modified and non-modified. The modified rest belt has a locking connector on it, meant to be plugged into a transducer module on a Bionex. The unmodified belt has a touchproof connector on it, meant to be used in a bio channel, either on a Bionex module or a Mindware mobile. The respiration belt measures the deflection of the chest as the subject breathes. To ensure that we measure maximum deflection, we should observe the subject to see how they breathe. Some people breathe naturally from the chest, from the stomach, or somewhere in between. Watch for the point on the torso that moves the most as they breathe, and use that as your rest belt position. Once you've determined the position of the rest belt, ask your subject to raise their arms. And wrap the respiration belt around their torso. The belt should be just snug enough that you can fit two fingers between it and the subject. And if the subject is wearing impedance cardiography leads, be sure that the belt is not putting tension on the lead wires. Once the belt is in place, the belt can be plugged into the data acquisition device. On a modified respiration belt, the locking connector plugs directly into the transducer module of a Bionex. On a non-modified rest belt, the touchproof connectors need to be plugged into a bio channel. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other videos on our YouTube page.